Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined here today by Kevin Kraft in the tour van at Second Swing Minnetonka. Very fun discussion today because yeah. we're at the we're at the top end of the bag between your let's say it's a three wood and then your longest irons. There's a wide variety of options out there, there are. Mr. Kraft. So um, today we're going to test them all to kind of get some information on maybe how different the playing characteristics are between them. So. A traditional four iron. Yep. We have the T150 for that today. A traditional four iron, which is going to be probably the least forgiving of them. Uh, yes. We've got a Shrixon ZU85 utility iron, a little bit bigger, thicker, mm -hmm. um, a little Friendlier. more forgiving. Yep. And then the Callaway Paradigm four hybrid. Yes. And then lastly, a Titleist TSR2 seven wood. So. A, a lot of different brands involved, which is yeah, great. Yeah. Um, but primarily what we're discussing is the the build of the clubs and the design of them and the what they achieve for you if you are struggling with this decision. Utility iron, hybrid, high lot of fairy wood. I, I mean, there's so many different ways to go about building this part of the bag. So, yeah. um, Kevin, quick overview before we start hitting some shots here on kind of what you maybe tell golfers about this decision here. So, you know, a lot of it comes down to personal preference and or performance. Yep. So there's a lot of people that still like a four iron. Um, I haven't carried one for well over a decade now. So uh, four iron is, is kind of dead to me. Uh, I just don't find that I'm as consistent with it as I would really like mm -hmm. to be. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of hybrids, but I carry two of them because they do what I need them to do. Um, the driving iron is a, is a nice option for those that don't love hybrids but maybe want something that's a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. Uh, they look down at it and they're like, oh, okay, this doesn't, it's not quite as small. Right. And it's, it's, it just engenders a little bit more, a little more comfort. Um, hybrids obviously have become kind of all the rage and for good reason, they're very, very useful. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes we can play them out of the rough. We can play them out of the fairway. We can play them off the tee. Uh, and then, you know, seven woods also become super popular, especially yeah. this year. It's like seven woods, like the the it, it, and, the it club and nine woods and nine uh, woods. And some yes, yes, golfers, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Not even not all the manufacturers are even offering nine woods, but the ones yeah. that are, are, I think, are seeing some benefit from it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the the question here, I think, and and we see a lot of difference in the performance, and we should see it as well. Is like these hybrids and seven woods typically are going higher in the air and yes. have the stopping power needed yes. that a player might want. Um, but you might see a little more, say, workability or maybe lower launch for players that yeah. hit it too high in these utility irons or even a traditional iron. So there's definitely it's it's a nuanced conversation, but it's important to know the differences between them. Yeah, and the the how a player wants to play this particular kind of loft, right? Everything here's in that 21, 22 degree, 23 degree range. Um, you know, if they're looking for something that they can just chase down the fairway, we don't have to worry about the trajectory as much. But if these are clubs that are coming into the green, we want to be able to create that good landing mm -hmm. angle so that when you get it there, it stops. Right. Exactly. So I think we're going to hit a few shots with each of these here today, or Sweet. I should say Kevin's going to hit the shots and we'll see what Trackman tells us about the differences. Okay. All right. Mr. Kraft, that's, we're starting with the iron yep. for iron here. Yep. We'll work our way up to the seven wood. So okay. 22 degree T100 or T150. Yes. Four iron. Looks like a club I don't carry. <laughs> it's a pretty good first swing with a four Felt iron. Felt really good, yeah. I have to say. That was a little skinny. Unlike me. It is odd because the, the numbers actually don't reflect it or much of a change there. Yeah. It looks like you hit it pretty good. That was slightly just a little fat. Toey. Yeah. Okay. Toey more than anything. Yeah, maybe one or two more here. Yeah. With that one. I mean, honestly, the, the, despite the, I'm actually surprised how forgiving the club seems to be when on these, uh, you know, one or two misses you may have had. Yeah, it's really not, it's not hateful for sure. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, I can live with that. T, 
150. I mean, there's really not like, <laughs> maybe this is probably your, your outlier here. Yeah, and that wasn't the one I caught skinny, I don't think. Right. So or maybe I mean, it was. These are all, maybe I mean, your spin rate average is 30, yeah. is 98. Your deviation with these. So we'll go with those five. Yeah. Let's, let's really good start, yeah. though. I mean, I think we'll see here once we get some more data from the other shots, but that's a pretty good start with the 400. So. Yeah, not bad. Um, height was a little, height average was a little bit low. Yeah. Um, Which is part of this whole discussion here. Yeah. 86 feet yep. on that. Landing, Landing angle is 41. Shallow. So, yeah. um, okay. all right. Z. U85. This is now a utility Good. iron. I have the two of this in my trunk. Okay. I carry it with me for those holes that or those courses that have some shorter, tighter holes. It was perfect for the U.S. Senior Open at Saucon Valley. That golf course really required something that just right flighted down. So, all right. So a Z8 U85 yeah. utility. So a little bigger. Yeah. A little friendlier looking. Yeah, it's got a little thicker top line, but it's certainly not offensive. You can see just a little bit of this this back right. end, kind of behind the club. Kind of don't on the two iron, but the four's just okay. a little bit, a little bigger there. Ripped. Much higher right away. Hundred feet. Likey. That's good. Forty-five point three landing angle. Just a touch skinny. Not hurt, really. Uh, not hurtful though. Yeah, it didn't hurt at all. Same carry number essentially. Hmm. Call that just slightly in the heel. Eh. Couldn't even tell though. Except for where it went. Well, yeah. Yeah. That one should be pretty good. I mean, all these are carrying at 200 or just a shy under 200 yards. And they're all over 100 feet. This might be the club for you. Oh, I like that one. I like to feel that one. That one felt good. I don't think we need to hit any more shots. I think that's good. I hope not. I'm starting to wear out. <laughs> so, there's, look, I mean, this is great. I mean, this is the one you hit off the heel that, yeah. you know, was, um, actually, it's surprising how good it still was despite hitting off the heel, right? It really, I mean, there's a lot of forgiveness in this iron for yeah. sure. Because one that felt a little thin, one that definitely felt a little healy. Right. And but not so a lot of sacrifice. The key thing here is how much different. Now, this is actually, this club um, is one, only one degree more than the T150, 23. Correct. Versus 22. Correct. But to see the landing angle go up by almost five degrees. Yeah. And the height go up almost 20 feet yeah. is, I think, a big difference there. So yes. distance, there's not much of a difference, mm -hmm. but it's the way the ball is getting there. That yeah. launch angle is a, almost two degrees difference. So we picked up 300, 390 RPM of spin. So yeah. that's a good thing. If it's mm -hmm. coming into the greens, we want that. The height, we want that. The landing angle, we want that. Um, that's a really good club for you. It is. It it's is a very good club for me. It's a reason that you're you're carrying it around yeah. probably. So. Paradigm hybrid now. This is a four hybrid at 21 yep. degrees. Yep. We should also note too, we got sort of what we could find in terms of uh, stiff shafts for these yeah. and, and the yeah. stock offerings that are available. Um, so we've got, obviously we can't match them all up being the bonded hosels and things. Yeah. So Paradigm, and then we'll go here to a four hybrid. Yep. Okay, I'm expecting now a jump, Another jump in distance jump or height or both? Distance, a jump in distance. Okay. And potentially in... in yeah, because this is a 21 too. degree club now too. Yeah. So, so plus some added... It's it's a little stronger lofted, but I'm still expecting, because there's going to be more ball speed, to still create really good height. Okay. Well, that was solid, but it's hanging way right. Yeah, we'll keep it. I mean, the numbers are good. Yeah. That was smoked. That was hit better. <laughs> no, it's all a face angle. It is all face angle. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> We've had that discussion today. Yep. I think I finally got it. Oh, yeah. Go. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can repeat that a couple few times. Did it once. 
Okay, I can deal with that. That one's gonna be alright. It's gonna be a little right, but not bad. No, no, it's not. Okay, cool. Finally. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of work for not much good return, to be honest. All right. Well, the uh, paradigm did some more things of what we thought, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, landing angle once again increased. Yep. Height once again increased. Yep. Uh, spin once again increased. Um, this is actually with a lower lofty club again. Yeah. So. I do tend to spin hybrids for yeah. whatever reason. I mean, that, I don't that's not know. a bad thing, though. No, it's not. But it, it has created some issues in the past where I've just gone and ordered yeah. a three and four hybrid with a with a set of irons, right. and they ended up doing the exact same thing mm -hmm. just because there's so much spin there. So you know, I don't spin anything else all that much, but I do spin hybrids. But well, let's see. Let's see what you spin a seven wood. We got a oh. TSR two here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. So it's same loft as this club. Yeah. Um, we'll see what happens with that. I know it's going to be. Uh, I, I have some ideas, but I'm not always right. I'm right most of the time. Yeah, I'm, usually might right. not yeah. might not be right about this. So. The thing about this is that the as you go into a hybrid or a seven wood, the, the shaft typically gets longer, so yes. it increases swing speed, and yep. thus part of the reason the spin and launch are able to increase too. Yeah. The problem is it can then also can create a little more dispersion. Correct. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's a really good shot. Oh, that's been, huh, interesting. There's some extra speed. There we go. High draw. High draw, my favorite shot. I think what we're seeing is why you play hybrids. Yeah. I think you're seeing, I think, we're gonna see once it's all said and done, we're gonna see the numbers on the hybrids for you. There it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, nice. So, final discussion here. Here's all the numbers. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the, the, the seven wood ended up actually going about as high and mm -hmm. with about roughly this, the landing angle is kind of similar to yeah. four hybrid. So, yeah. um, is also worth noting you swung that the fastest because it's the longest golf shaft, Correct. which generated the most ball speed. So that's something to think of if you're in this sort of window. And honestly, the way this looks too, you could probably play both a four iron and a seven wood based on gapping or, you know, you can make that decision as well. Yeah, but, yeah, especially uh, with a little adjustability there. Maybe make it a little tiny bit stronger, just in elongate that gap just a yeah. little bit, but yeah. Yeah, but um, I think we, we see the trend, right? I mean, a four iron obviously is gonna launch lower it's going to generate the most shallow landing angle. Yep. Um, and in most cases, you know, it's gonna be the lowest flight. Um, lowest spin here too, right? But as you went up into a lar larger, more forgiving club head, mm -hmm. hotter club face, yep. you saw the trend of a steeper landing angle, more height, more spin. And again, the hybrid is the best, the best at least in this test for you, the Paradigm Hybrid was the best, yeah. uh, giving you the best number, stopping power, all of that. And yep. it's no reason, or I guess no surprise that you play Two hybrids in your bag. Yeah. So. Yeah. This would be fine. I mean, the, the oh, it would be yes. The the distance was was good. Um, you know, it it carries another six yards. Um, if you want that, that's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's certainly enough trajectory there, so you know, plays out. Yeah. Hybrid I mean, this and is... hybrid and fairway wood are for me better than yes. than those. But. It... Depends on the options. player. You know, it's player oh, dependent. We say that all the time. Yeah. And if you, depends on what you need as a player. Maybe you spin the ball a ton and launch it really high, then maybe you need to go down to a utility iron and, Absolutely. and see those benefits there. Yeah. So, but just gotta really, get fit. Find out. Find these things out. Exactly. You gotta get fit for yourself. What works for you is what we wanna put in your bag. So, yes. schedule that fitting. Make sure your clubs are dialed in for your swing. And uh, Kevin, thank you for hitting all the shots. This is a really good, really good test here. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good one.